so we had another question about the driving range and now that they know where to go and what to do, what clubs should they be using when they get there? And my rule of thumb is always start with an iron. It's easier to add length and speed than it is to take away. So if I'm going to the driving range, I typically start with my sand wedge, seven iron, four hybrid, seven wood, and finish with my driver. I like to um, change it up the odd time, but that's pretty much what I like to warm up with because those are the clubs that I'm going to use the most out on the golf course. And again, we don't want you going over to the driving range. We know it's so much fun to hit the big dog, the driver, but we really got to make sure that you put in the time with your irons because you're going to be hitting them a lot more than you would mm -hmm. hit your driver. Because on a normal hole, on a par five, you would hit a driver, potentially a seven wood, maybe a seven iron, maybe a pitching wedge, and then your putter, depending on the level of golfer. So as you can see, I just listed off three irons and only one driver. So kind of put your timing in. If you're spending half an hour hitting balls, I like to spend about 20 minutes on my wedges, irons, and maybe hybrids, and the last 10 minutes on my fairway woods and drivers to finish. Yeah, Ashley, and just to add in, um, especially if you're a beginner, and if you've had a lesson, I'm sure that your coach will have told you this, but feel free to tee up the ball, even with your irons. Yes. Everyone thinks that it's just, um, you can just tee up your ball with your driver, but as a beginner, we want to give ourselves as much advantage as we can. So just tee the ball up, and then you're just trying to sweep the grass right under the ball, knock the tee over, and you'll be on your way. Awesome. 